Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Oh yeah! Let's get ready to rumble. Welcome to the Royal Rumble of J Royal! I brought Dee back to tell me what her favorite date fragrances are. Why are my eyes closed? And I took four of the more prestigious date fragrances, in my opinion. CH Men, The One Eau de Parfum, La Nuit de l'Homme, and Pineapple Vintage Noir. <laughs> Seriously. You guys know the format. It's two fragrances fight, two fragrances fight. The winner of each, they fight. You got one winner. Duh. So let's start with the one Eau de Parfum versus Pineapple Vintage Noir. <laughs> what up, everyone? I got D back, and we're going to get her opinion on my four preferred date fragrances. The first two fragrances we're gonna look at is Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. Dolce & Gabbana. And Pineapple Vintage Noir. So which one do you like more? This is the first one. Okay. And then this is the second one. Oh my god. For me, it's just like, I am just reminded of like vacation <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Every night I would eat pineapple uh -huh. and like lots okay. of booze. I prefer the pineapple because it's like, <laughs> So you, are you, you're, a bit, you're a bit biased. What about this guy, you know, it just puts you off or it's like, It's no. someone, like, I immediately think of just someone like walking by me who like didn't want to stop and chat. It's just like someone I was like trying to make eye contact with, but they kept walking by and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm not attracted to you anymore, but I still kind of am. The first winner is... Pineapple Vintage Noir. Sorry, who's that from? They're like kind of this like small like indie sort of fragrance. Oh, it's not from a gas station or something? No! No! So don't take a mana, sorry, but you're not as good as this one. Didn't see that coming. Actually, I kind of did because Pineapple Vintage Noir is the truth. Anyway, let's see what she thinks about CH Men versus La Nuit de Lome. Here's the first one. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, my, my right eye burns a little so <laughs> The next one is this one. No. Oh, sorry, that's like an older man. Uh -huh. Like, out of my age range. I'm not there yet. Maybe I'll grow into that smell, but right now it's like, I don't have daddy issues, so I don't fulfill that. Nice! <laughs> Good for you! Just mommy issues. Oh. And abandonment issues. Oh. <laughs> The winner is La Nuit de Lome. This video is going great. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, La Nuit strikes again. La Nuit de Lome, guys, it just takes no prisoners. But finally, let's get our winner, y'all. Pineapple Vintage Noir versus La Nuit de Lome. Here's number one. Okay. <laughs> and here's number two. So, um, that one. I don't know, it just smells a little bit more manly. Okay. In a way that's attractive. This is La Nuit de Lomme. Oh, why is that? Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, they make lipsticks and stuff too. They totally do, and they make clothes. They make all kinds of sh Everyone sees this as like one of the best date fragrances. So you may not smell totally unique, but from what you've insinuated, this is kind of a unique smelling fragrance, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So the winner is, no surprise to me, La Nuit de Lomme. Guys, I keep telling you, man, La Nuit cleans up and you don't even need the vintage. I showed her the reformulation and she still loves it. And just for giggles, I also asked Kirsten what she thought was the best date fragrances of those four. The one EDP versus Pineapple Vintage Noir. Okay, smell this one first if you can. Okay, yeah. I can. <laughs> May you? Yeah. This one. Ooh. I do like this, but this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, bit different. How about La Nuit versus CH Men? Of these two, Kirsten, mm -hmm. which one do you prefer? Okay. This. Yes. Yes? You're not surprised? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Correct. I wear it every time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> ah, there we go. We're back on track. 
And finally, the one Eau de Parfum versus La Nuit de l'Homme. I wonder which one she's gonna pick. And the winner is... Ooh. Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de l'Homme. Need I say more? I understand that a lot of people have complaints about this fragrance because of the root formulation issue and the fact that we all think it's number one, so we are all going to wear it. Yes, being unique is important, but why not go for gold? And still, even with the amount of hype that this fragrance gets, it's still not going to be as basic as Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel. La Nuit de L'Homme is not a signature fragrance, it is reserved for date nights and nights out, so you're not going to smell like Joe Blow at the office, unless Joe Blow wears this to the office. It's kind of weird. If you haven't checked out my Lanoui Vintage Verses, it's up in the cards top wise. Winner! Lanoui de l'homme. So much Lanoui. And I had three of these. My opinion. Her opinion. opinion. That's not real sign language. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. I was trying, I was trying to do it. Yeah. It's kind of like someone foreign trying to speak the language, but with their hands, like, I'm not. With, with the, the, the purest and best intentions. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I smell stuff.